Hi, I'm Jay Segura for ThatShelf.com. We're here to look at Elvis in Memphis on MoFi One Step. Big change. So this is the original master recording, as it says on the top, of El from Elvis in Memphis. Um, it is, I have number 2092 from the MoFi UltraDisc One Step. We've seen these boxes before. I'm not the biggest Elvis fan in the world, um, thanks to uh, people like Andrew Hickey and his uh, 500 songs that I've talked about numerous times, but also the Baz Luhrmann film. I have taken more time to actually delve in, into his discography, but I have a friend, shout out to Eric Ench, um, who uh, had a copy of this and when I was at his place I actually had a chance to listen to it. I know Elvis fanatics love the heck out of this record. And I've heard some pretty um, stellar reviews about it. I'm excited to actually dive into it. I've heard the tracks again um, on other systems, and I thought if there was going to be one uh, that I was actually going to pick up, it would probably be this as part of my crazy set of one steps. Um, also, coincidentally, um, this is one of my first orders from the InGroove. Shout out to Mike and the, and the staff there. Um, I did a post record store day or a order from them. Gotta say, it took about two and a half weeks to get to Canada. That was a little bit disappointing, but it showed up in good order. And it, um, he had a, a sale on for record store day, so I actually managed to pick it up there. And I know he has been going on about this release for a long time, so he's definitely somebody whose um, taste I don't always agree with, but I certainly can appreciate um, um, the care that he actually puts into uh, his collection and how much he's a huge Elvis fan. So he was absolutely one and I thought it would be a little bit fitting to give him some of the money. Um, coincidentally, again, this is just one of those things. This was $50 cheaper for me to buy, given the sale, given um, um, how it is. $50 to $60 cheaper for me to buy from Phoenix and get it shipped in here, including shipping um, and taxes, etc., than it would to buy it locally. That's just the state of things in Canada, and what are we going to do? Um, I certainly support local uh, record stores, and I do that um, a lot, much to my bank account's detriment, but that is just one of those things that we actually have to take in consideration, especially when it comes to these box sets. So, the outside, this is one of the old school um, full box ones. I'm going to keep the sticker um, and put it sort of on the inside. That's what I usually do. And inside Elvis is Memphis. We have the box. We have this foam. I would love to hear anybody on the comments or um, etc. I've yet to hear anybody that says whether it's a good idea to keep this or not. I know some of the older ones. I have some of the old MoFi and the foam sort of in place. It keeps everything together, but I am worried obviously of this disintegrating over time. I don't want this. If anybody has any sort of insight into this foamy stuff, whether they bother keeping the record, um, this inside their box, I would love to hear it. Uh, we have, oh, look at this. How nice. Uh, usually you get a little, sometimes you get a sort of um, a 12 by 12 card, the one in the Simon Garfunkel, which is an amazing um, uh, sort of publicity shot. And there we have, we have like an absolute, uh, sincerely Elvis Presley. It's like, it's sort of a non-glossy sort of card printed, um, uh, one of those autograph sheets that you would have got in time. Essentially his headshot, um, lo looking with the, with the bolo uh, kind of bandana thing going on. Um, handsome dude. Uh, and here we have, uh, yeah, this, uh, a similar layout on the actual original album cover. I've said it a million times, but it would be really nice if we actually got a proper um, tip-on type jacket like we do with the box sets from um, U.S. Choir, etc. But this is the way that MoFi does it, is that you get a replica um, on a printed card of the original artwork rather than the original artwork itself. We have the UltraDisc um, uh, One Step, the, uh, the, the sort of revised one um, in the post-DSD era. And then we have here two, as always, Disc 1 and Disc 2, 45 RPM. Let's dig them out and let's see how the records themselves actually look. Again, sometimes they turn out beautifully, sometimes I have lots of schmutz on it. Either way, they're going to be going through the degrader. Yep. So immediately there's a little bit of, um, it's sort of like a fingerprinty thing, but mostly it looks pretty good. I don't see any particular stuff. That just might be this ghost of the material, the VR900 or uh, material that they use, the sort of translucence. Probably hard to see me through, but you can see the translucence. But other than that, it looks okay. 
there looks like, I don't know if that's a scratch or not on this one. That might just be the way that it's actually cut. But, oh, it might be a hair. So we will see what's going on. But I actually have a, a mark here. That'll actually be good if I have an issue. I will be talking to our friends um, down south. And then on the next record... See similar stuff. Open it up. Yep, uh, this one actually looks a little bit f more free of drama. I see no marking that this one absolutely looks perfect. So I'll throw this in the degrader, I'll give it a clean, I'll give it a listen, but uh, yeah, there's my um, initial unboxing, my uh, uh, examination, as it were, of the uh, from Elvis in Memphis recording, um, one of his, you know, big records, sort of a late career big record, uh, and I'm looking forward to digging into this. Uh, for that shelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments about the foam, about anything, about what you think of this record. Whether you're a big Elvis fan or not, it's funny because Elvis was was absolutely the generation. Um, be, uh, my, it was when my parents were much younger, so they didn't really listen to Elvis, but they also didn't really listen to the Beatles. The Beatles I sort of found myself, but Elvis was just always something that was sort of in the past. Um, uh, and so this is sort of a fun thing for me to explore. Let me know in the comments what you think of Mr. Presley. Um, uh, subscribe, click on that little bell and all that stuff. Go to thatshelf.com and read much of our content. It would help us out a lot. And we'll see you next video. All the best. Take care.